this is Darcy she's helping with my video today she's made this fantastic headband for us and uh, I say hello hi people hi I'm Ros Hill and today I'm going to show you how we can teach children to do latch hook crochet first of all I'm going to start with a slip knot on my hook and when you're doing this the first thing you need to do is to tell your pupil Darcy in this case how to use her busy finger okay so Darcy show me where your busy finger is this is Darcy and hold on to this here first of all you need to explain that the busy finger has to control that stitch on the hook like Darcy is doing here so that finger has only got one job to do on that hand okay this other hand has got two jobs to do and one of them is to yarn over and the other one is to pull this stitch over the end here and back to your busy finger. Now if you're teaching a child it's a good idea for you to do what I'm doing and for just the your child who is learning just to do that one action with that finger. Okay so I'm going to go over here explaining that's the first action and then the next action is to take this round and bring it back to Darcy who's going to just hold on to that there okay so this is one job two jobs the busy finger of course has only got one job to do just going up and down like Darcy is doing there okay one job two jobs one job two jobs well done Darcy I think you're helping great there okay so we're going to pause the video now and we're going to swap hands so that Darcy can do what I'm doing and I can do what Darcy's doing so we're going to pause the video okay we're back and I'm going on this side if I'm the teacher I'm going to as a teacher I am going to use my busy finger there to control the stitch on the hook and your pupa, Darcy in this case, she's just going to do one job with this hand. Okay, Darcy, you're going to wind it round for me. Wind one job, and I'm going to do the other job and bring it back to the busy finger. Wind it round for me, please, Darcy. Going round the back, and now you can see I'm breaking this down into stages. So Darcy's just doing one job with her left hand, and I'm doing the right hand. And holding on and I'm also doing the second job with the left hand here this sounds very complicated okay Darcy now I'm going to ask you to do both jobs now Darcy can you do that for me one job two jobs so the left hand has got two jobs to do as you can see Darcy is doing that winding around first and then bringing it round at the top and bring it back to your busy finger one job two jobs well done. Okay, now we're going to show you what can go wrong. You think we're drunk here? Look at the screen. We're, we're way off. <laughs> oh no! I don't know how long it's been like. This that. is what can go wrong. If you hold the chain at the bottom here and pull it, it can become loose. If it does, you can pull it back into place. But try to ask ask your pupil to hold it and pinch it. I always say it's like a crab pinching like this. So you use your pincer fingers, your forefinger and your thumb and put them together. Make sure that you're holding that chain and loop. Oh, look at that. I'll just take me off the end. <laughs> this is a fiasco. Okay, let's try that again. I usually ask the pupil to use their hand, finger and thumb like a crab pincers and hold it right at the top. Yarn over first and hold it at the top so that it doesn't come on come loose. Bring it round the end and back to, to your busy finger. Round, hold the top so it doesn't come loose. When you get to the end this could happen. You're pulling it the wrong way. Make sure that you're keeping the loop close to the hook as it comes round the end and back to your busy finger. Okay, um, can you show me just here in the window which are your pincer fingers please? Uh, Darcy and that's right that's like using a little being like a little crab I'm going to yarn over Darcy and can you pull that across and over the end round the end it goes and back well done I'm doing this first job yet Darcy can you do the next job which is to pull that round and back to your busy finger 
And now can you do the both of those? Job one is to go round and then to pull it over the end and back to your busy finger. Now if you're teaching, you have to do what I'm doing and let the pupil just do one hand like Darcy is at the moment. Well done, Darcy. Thank you. And one more. Now, when the pupil can do both of these actions with both hands, then it's time to try and put them both together. So I'm going to give this to Darcy and see if she can now put them both together. To be a contortionist now, Darcy. Well done. And now Darcy's doing it by herself and I'm looking over her to make sure that she's doing it correctly. You can see she's doing one job with the busy finger and the other hand has got two jobs. One job is to wind it round and the other one is to bring the hook around the edge. Darcy, you're doing this amazingly well. Thank you so much. Now, hopefully, be able to, other people will be able to do the teaching as well as me. Okay, thank you very much, Darcy. Well done.